Um, the United Nations and its affiliated organizations are calling for quality health issues about uh, gender equality, and this is Africa, where at the moment we are told that the center of gravity of Christianity has shifted to. There are many Christians in Africa, especially there are many young people in this continent, in our churches. So when you talk about health issues, about girls, about women, pregnant women, sometimes you ask yourself, why should a woman who is delivering another human being die at the point of birth, giving birth? Why should young people, young girls especially, die in abortion? So when you talk about health issues, it affects our young people, it affects our women, especially our rural communities. Now, some churches are doing very well. There are churches that run their own hospitals and health facilities. There are churches that are doing education in churches, hoping to shape the mindset of young girls, boys, women, and all that. I must also say that there are churches that virtually are not doing much because their spirituality does not bring them into such policies. For some, spirituality is only being the cathedral where they are praying for people, where they are fasting. But what we do at hospitals are also spiritual. God heals in our hospitals too. And so we need pastors to bring in health issues into the church because God is interested in the health of the people. And gender balance is issue that God is interested in because God created all of us in his image.